Hello guys, welcome again. In this tutorial, we will learn about a manifest. So what is manifest? Every application uh, must have an um, Android manifest.xml file, which is uh, preciously uh, that name is it's in in its root directly. So you uh, you have been uh, looking for uh, like a manifest file you may uh, you may encounter uh, or see it on uh, our uh, applications previous applications and lessons but what is this file really do the manifest presents essential information about the app to the android system information and the information the system must have before it can run any of applications code. So it provides like a summary or the applications need for uh, for the system. So the usage, uh, first of all, it is a declaration file. Uh, you can put the package name, the minimum required API, uh, the name of the application, the icon, and everything, uh, sorry, the uh, activities included. Um, uh, secondly, uh, here only which activity should start first that has been declared. Uh, we will see later on uh, which is uh, the activity and uh, which is the launcher intent, the launcher, launcher intent, and which uh, application uh, activity is assigned to, uh, to be the first uh, app the, uh, or the first activity displayed to the user. It declares which perform permissions the application must have. We will learn also uh, later on about permissions and uh, permissions uh, and dependencies and other uh, things on uh, next uh, sections. It also declares the permission that all others are required uh, to have in order to interact. It declares the minimum level of Android API. It lists the application, the libraries that uh, the application must be linked, and all the components should be declared here. The components are activities, uh, services, broadcast receivers, content providers. Uh, these should be declared in the manifest. So the manifest XML file presents the activity ident the app identity in which the device or Play Store will recognize this app, its package and permission. So back to Android Studio, here we are going to create, we are going to, uh, to uh, see the manifest file, which it is here in the left section. It is called uh, under the Android, we select the Android, we select app, we select manifest, and this is the, our manifest. Let's close this. Okay, so its path is uh, app manifest and Android manifest, and let's zoom in. You see it is an XML file, uh, here uh, its declaration as a manifest and also it uh, gives uh, the information about the package it's our package name application these are the uh, inside the application what we have uh, how many activity so in the previous uh, app that uh, makes login screen we have created an acti two activities, the first activity and the second activity. Second activity is called activity B, which is here declared. And activity, uh, a second, a first activity, which is the launcher, uh, the launcher where the user, when tap on the icon of the application, the application pop up and displays the first um, activity, which is called the, the launcher the launcher and in my case it is it is the main activity that has an intent filter intent filter uh, having it is the main app and the launcher app uh, the main activity and the launcher activity okay so uh, if uh, if i cut this 
and specify them to activity B. When I launch the activity, the app, the activity B will be the launcher. So let's cut, cut, cut this and paste in activity B and click run for the okay um, i have uh, disabled in bios uh, don't worry guys but uh, in my case in my case in uh, in this case also the activity b will be the launcher activity so back to intent launcher and now the application here also displays some information about our app it all also allow the backup here the icon of the application so you can uh, uh, you can like change it here is the name of application we go to strings we can hover by clicking uh, control and uh, hovering and left left mouse we can go left click we can uh, go to the specific file where it is uh, displayed so we can change the application name here we can uh, change the round icon we can support uh, support rtl and supports different screen resolution and uh, uh, and translation and uh, many things we can uh, uh, put here in the application manifest and Android theme this is the theme of uh, application which is app theme and uh, later on we will learn about uh, themes and um, material design so it is uh, this is the uh, app, this is the manifest in general uh, we will see later how to uh, to add the uh, uh, permissions like um, permissions services background uh, services uh, broadcast uh, services and uh, for information we can add uh, like permission uh, using like internet you are making for example you are making an app that requires internet connection so we we uh, we put here the permissions by using uh, permission and permission and i will select like uses permission sorry and here we have bunch of uh, permissions that uh, will ask the user for uh, allowing uh, our allowing the our app to use these permissions so in our case for in our case uh, we uh, let's say we need an app we are creating an app that requires internet connection so we need to to uh, to make internet and then close it in this case the app will requires and uses the internet connection uh, many apps and many developers have uh, this uh, big problem uh, because they don't uh, don't specify the required and the exact uh, 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 uses or permission. So, uh, for example, if you are making an a, a map activity that uh, requires a GPS uh, GPS, so you need to 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 uh, request permission for using gps uh, local um, local uh, sorry uh, requiring or uh, requesting like uh, the the accessing or accessing the local wi-fi the uh, using the accurate position using the uh, many things you are uh, needed to use in uh, specific apps so uh, don't worry we will uh, we will see later on when doing projects app projects uh, real projects uh, how to use uh, manifest and manifest uh, permissions thank you guys and uh, please rate us five stars
Thank you for watching.